Hey you guys, so this is our last video on how to delete the user when we, for example, when we click on the user, we can drag it. So we can drag it and then when we click, yes, yeah, so it means that the user is deleted. So we need to indicate with the delete APIs. So when I click no, there's no happen. Just go to the current page. So the page should be in index and do the function in delete, right? I already have a delete user. So I need to grab uh, the current user ID. So how can I get it? So I already pass, I think I don't pass the ID yet, right? When we click on index. Okay, so I can pass the ID. How can I pass it? I just pass the item. Okay. When I go to the show delete, I can pass the item. Item. Okay. The item. Just go to the delete. Okay. Delete not happen yet. So I can call it when I click no. It's okay. When I click yes. Okay. Yes, I just call the delete user. I already have it. The user and pass the ID. Right? So the ID, I already pass it item. So the item should be item key. Uh, I think ID, right? And we can call it by call it user ID. Okay. Would you like to list? Okay. So we can print the user ID here, user ID. So we can see when we click on, we can, when we drag on this and click, okay, yes. So I get 12. So next, another V user, I get 13, right? So the API should something like only passing post and nobody, and we can pass the user ID. Okay, so we do the same as while you are something with this. Okay, this API plus. Okay, the API should be delete with user. Okay, so the user we can compare from user ID and we can print the full URL first. Okay, so when I drag and delete, yes, I get the full URL. Okay, same as this, I click, I get the full URL. Okay, I can do by by putting response equal away the same as keep dot post. So we use post not patch post URL, and I believe we need. We don't need header. I yeah we have it. We need header. Okay. Header should be, but we don't need body. Content tab as application JSON and second is accept application JSON and we can just put a scene before delete user okay let's just have if respond dot status is equal to one that's a new success success we just do something here not success okay so success we can just only do okay just call our function again to fetch the user just call this function okay so call it when it's success call it fetch user that's it oh you can put this it's it is the same uh, delete no delete delete we don't need to do anything okay so let's just have it for example when i delete 2020 user I could yes. Okay, it's deleted. 
when I delete the 001 I click yes delete it when I click no so it means there is no happen okay I click yes delete it okay when I add new user say as Okay, com click done. Okay, add it here. Uh, so we can edit, just edit it to H maybe. Yeah, can edit it. done. Success of that, and we can also delete it. Yes, okay, so I think. This is the whole video how to integrate with Sample API. So the next video I'm gonna start on server side how to create Sample API with this listing insert update and with with PHP Laravel right. So just keep in touch and please let me know if you guys have a question. Just comment it in the yeah down below so yeah that's it thank you goodbye